Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and we are back with more Demon Slayer, episode number 6 of season 4. The training continues and last time around we kinda sped when uh, throughout the episode we went to Mitsuri's place where we were training our agility, stretching and all of that, man. Uh, I wish we saw Zenitsu during that training but he progressed further, we found him later on at uh, Sanemi's place and before that we stepped by uh, Obanai's place man where we practiced precision man although all these trainings are like not doing much for Tanjiro I do believe that Tanjiro already has insane precision man I mean Tanjiro already fought upper moon demons man in a pretty draining and hard battles man so you get the point right but still it's nice to see because this is the first time we actually see all the hashiras like being involved in their training which is kind of awesome and of course when it comes to sanemi they were learning uh i guess <laughs> aggression and they were fighting until somebody drops unable to move bro zenitsu was really really having a hard time and yeah uh they banned tanjiro from sanemi's place and banned them too from working together i guess uh it was rough to see all those words sanemi said to genya i still believe very very strongly that he's actually doing it to protect his brother and when he heard that he ate demons he was disgusted because we know why sanemi doesn't like demons in any capacity one bit especially to learn that his brother ate demons bro so yeah he was pretty upset about that but yeah moving on we are going to stone hashira's training we saw those uh, people practicing in waterfalls in nozuke's there which is gonna be pretty hype finally my boys are back together all three of them so yeah without further ado Let's start episode number 6. Alright guys, everything is ready, let's start. There is... Your lover body? Okay, so my man prefers a leg day, I see. Lift up these three lungs. <laughs> really big. Choi. Oh, one choice. 358 feet. It really does seem simple, but it's probably tough. And he's crying. Put him in the river. <laughs> what do you mean by that, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. The strongest of the Demon Slayer corpse. So he definitely is the strongest. That makes sense, man. He has insane aura, bro. When he clapped, bro, everyone was like posing for a second. Come on! <laughs> Classic Zenitsu panic attack. Of course, you're gonna see a lot of those. Hey, is this the, is this the guy we saw earlier? <laughs> oh my god, Zenitsu! <laughs> he actually used his breathing technique for this shit. <laughs> Are you fucking idiot? I love it. He saw this guy in the forest in season man. Murata, right? Oh, that's Inosuke. Coming through, coming through. <laughs> the other dude was trying to chant a prayer. Is he good? Oh my god, and of course Inosuke wouldn't just move, bro. <laughs> he popped back to life. <laughs> Manjiro. That's right. Oh, we think this is gonna be one of those episodes, eh? This is gonna be fun. Signal that you're conscious and good for focusing. Yeah, I've never been under the waterfall like this, but I assume it's pretty fucking hard. He's reaching his limit, you can hear it. Vintanjiro, man. 
Yeah, the warm stone. Damn. Of course, they're praising them. Good to see him still training and fighting despite seeing his friends getting freaking murdered in that like mountain. That's Inosuke for you. Give me the chills. That's his way of saying this guy is the real deal. He's strong as fuck. No surprises there, man. <laughs> Nothing with the mountains. He's gonna eat all of it, man. Tent fish. Holy fuck. Wrecking bits. The strongest of the demon slayers. Or... Wow. Yep. I guess this is a confirmation. Oh, when Tanjiro says that, that's the real deal. And usually in anime, like, the big buff dude is usually not even strongest at all by far. So it's. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's. <laughs> Very rare to see the strong and big dude being the strongest man, if you get what I mean. <laughs> oh, bro, I bet he can even too. Then it's the skeptic. He's lying to himself, he's literally moving a big one behind them. <laughs> Holy shit. The same move like in last episode for Tanjiro. I mean, he probably trained hard, but he is not physique. Sinosu can touch you, bro. What do you expect? They're not giving up. He's running! <laughs> oh, the river is taking him. Back to training. That's the spirit. Training completed. The first part, I guess. This is the second one. Three big ass logs. All right. That transition was so smooth. Is this one gonna be the toughest one? Ooh, demons time! New upper four. The instrument demon who is controlling this labyrinth. Sixty percent of demon slayers. They're trying to learn all the positions of them. I, yeah, they're searching for... Nezuko, there he is! Nakime. Okay. He's in a good mood. And he's praising demons. You know that <laughs> he can be very fucking... Without mercy to them, so... You can tell he's in a good mood. Nah, the fact that she has this power with the instrument and she's like spying, she has like that like web. She can control multiple eyeballs, man. Very useful. Another one. Two demon slayers splitting up. And there is two eyeballs. Obuyashiki as well. He wants to find Master Kagaya. Yo, it's not even bulging, which is kinda crazy, we know that Tanjiro is strong. And one of his first trainings was to cut the boulder, but he needs to move one now. That's a different story. Also, I love this training because it reminds me of early Dragon Ball when Goku and Krillin were tasked to move a boulder, bro. Good times. Damn. Is he gonna try to convince them to stay? Nah, he's just letting them decide what they want. Oh, he's 
ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ。ぜひ
大切な人の顔を思い浮かべる言葉を思い出すこと。おお、でん。心を燃やせ。<笑> Yo! Let's go! It's actually gonna work! Oh, I love it, that man. So basically, using those emotions and those memories to like, fuel you strength and friendly. Oh, the mark is growing. He's actually doing it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing for them to realize as well how it's done. Compachero. Yeah, watch carefully, boys. ハンプクドウサから全部も繰り返しているうち体が覚え始めるわあハンプクドウサから全部も繰り返しているうち体が覚え始める And you're using all of your strength and you can do it. But when you fuel yourself up with emotions, you're getting stronger. And that Loki might be one of the reasons why Stone Hashira is crying because he's constantly expressing his emotions and he's constantly strong as fuck. They ended this on an interesting note. What do you do? What do you look like? Ubuyashi. He never actually saw him, right? I mean, it's not like he's in a good state, but this is kind of worrisome because this shit kind of implies that he's. In his place, right? One of those two demon slayers that they were following it looks like one of them was leading to Master Kagaya, perhaps. Man, Ooh. I don't like this, but uh, what a great episode! Man, I really loved that one. Uh, we have uh, also uh, Taisho Era Secret, of course, so let's check that out as well. Let's see. So innocent. It's like he's constantly expressing his emotions, strong emotions. No. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought that he was going meow. <laughs> what the hell? Himejima <laughs> Gyome. Nice. I like that one. All right, guys, I liked this episode because uh, for the first time since the training arc began, this felt like we were finally leveling up and learning something new. Repetitive motion, which is different for different individuals, right? Everyone is fueled by different emotions. Uh, Genya is using the chance that is helping him use repeated emotion and move bolder <clears throat> and they were talking about how uh, how emotions affect you right that is basically it's basically like the emotions are fuel for you to use this repetitive motion and Tanjiro obviously when he remembers his family and the words from Rengoku set your heart ablaze it's motivating him and pushing him to become stronger and his mark lit up man i like that shit man and that's probably why stone hashira is so fucking strong because he mastered that shit man and it's like he's constantly channeling it man that's why he's always crying and stuff man i love it man i love it and zenitsu and inosuke are gonna master that as well probably so yeah this episode it felt like we were about to become stronger man and those repetitive motions are probably going to be very helpful during the fight against demons right like sudden bursts of power man that's hella useful man i really really loved that and i like how his training is simple it's basically like a 
mind and strength training like basically lift hard shit move hard shit man and practice concentration <laughs> while waterfall is freezing and trying to like break your neck man <laughs> so yeah really old school but really really nice and simple man i love it i like how tanjiro was basically the mom of the group preparing them these tasty meals and they got spoiled they want tanjiro to prepare them every meal now man that was kind of cute hell we even saw murata man we saw him at mountain natagumo right in season one all the way back when a bunch of those demon slayers unfortunately died when they were being controlled and stuff man that was pretty horrifying looking back at that man but yeah uh, really great episode uh, excited to see the next one the next one's title is also about the stone hashira so uh, we might learn more about him man, which i'm of course uh, very excited about so i will end the video here for today thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed guys if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then Take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.